To set the time, hit the time button twice. You can now change the hours by hitting the plus or minus button. To confirm, hit the time button and change the minutes by hitting the plus or the minus button. Confirm by hitting the time button. This oven is equipped with 11 functions. European convection, convection element with grill, convection element with top and bottom element, convection element with bottom element for pizza, top and bottom element, grill, four extra functions, and cleaning. The four extra functions are dehydrate, proof, defrost, and warming. Proof and warming use the lower elements to keep foods warm. Defrost does not use any heating elements at all. It only uses a convection fan. Dehydrate is similar to convection cooking, but holds an optimum low temperature while circulating the heated air to remove moisture slowly for food preservation. Select a cooking mode by turning the knob to the desired function. Once a cooking function is selected, you can select the temperature by turning the right hand knob. To select the extra cooking functions, dehydrate, proof, defrost, or warming, turn the knob to the cook extra cooking function option and then hit the option button here on the right. You will see in the display on the left that it will go through the different options. Turn on the light in the oven, hit the light button. To turn it off again, hit it again. To lock the display, press the plus and the double arrow button simultaneously. Display will now display sense, and it means that the sensor here won't work anymore. So no functions can be changed. In order to unlock the display again, press the plus and the double arrow button simultaneously for three seconds. To lock the oven door, press the plus and minus button simultaneously for three seconds. Lock user will appear in the display. After a few seconds, you will not be able to open the door anymore. Press the plus and minus button again in order to unlock the oven door. Once lock user is not flashing in the display anymore, you're able to open the door. To set the timer, press the time button once so that timer is displayed in the display. Hit the plus button to set the hours. Hit the time button once to go to the minutes and then change the minutes by pressing plus and minus or holding plus and minus to increase by 10 minutes each time. Hit the timer button once or wait for five seconds and the timer will start. When the timer ends, a reminder will beep for 15 minutes or until the timer button is pressed. To cancel a timer, press minus and set it to zero hours and change it to zero minutes. Confirm by pressing the time button. The cooking options convection bake, convection roast, and bake allow you to cook with a meat probe. Once you have selected one of the three cooking functions that allow for a meat probe, and you've inserted the meat probe in the oven cavity, turn the knob to one of the options, and you will see the word probe in the display. Once one of the three cooking functions that allow the use of the meat probe has been selected, 
The temperature for the meat probe is displayed on the display. You can change it by pressing the plus or minus button. After waiting for 5 seconds, the value on the display is accepted and the control starts cooking. The actual probe temperature is now displayed. Touch the plus button to show the set temperature. If you've selected a cooking function that does not allow for the use of the meat probe and you have a meat probe inserted in the oven cavity, an error message will be displayed. and the oven will turn itself off. The oven has five different features. Sabbath mode, calibrating the temperature, changing the unit from Fahrenheit to Celsius or back, changing the clock format from 12 hour system to 24 hour system, and changing the preset temperatures. Touch and hold the options and time button for at least three seconds. You can now see the different options on the display on the right. Press the plus or minus button to go through the different options. In this case we have selected the hour setting. If you wish to change from Fahrenheit to Celsius, select degree on the right hand side and confirm with the options button. You can now change the setting by hitting the plus or minus button. Confirm by hitting the Options button. To go back to the main menu, hold the Options button for 3 seconds. If you wish to change the hour format, select Hour on the right hand side. Confirm with the Option button and change it by pressing the plus or minus button to the desired option. Confirm by pressing the Options button. can go back to the main menu by holding the options button for three seconds. If you wish to calibrate the oven temperature, select OFS on the right hand side. Confirm with the options button. It should be set to zero degrees. However, if you think that your oven temperature is too low, you can change it by pressing the plus button and it'll increase the temperature by 15 degrees or 10 or 5 or whatever you'd like to set it to. Confirm by pressing the options button. Hold the options button for at least 3 seconds to go back to the main menu. Change the oven to Sabbath mode. Select Sabbath on the right hand side. Select by pressing the options button and turn it on by hitting the plus button. Confirm by hitting the options button. In order to go back to the main menu Press and hold the options button for 3 seconds. You can set your oven so that it cooks only for a certain amount of time. In order to do so, select the cooking function and the temperature you'd like to cook with. Then you hit the time button until it displays time. You then change the setting by hitting the plus and minus button Confirm the hours by hitting the time button and select the, the minutes by hitting the plus and minus button. You then confirm by either waiting 5 seconds or hitting the time button. When the time expires, the oven automatically turns off and the writing on and time will disappear from the display. A reminder will beep for up to 15 minutes until any key is touched in order to get the user's attention. You can also set the oven so that it will delay the start of the time mode. In order to do so, follow the steps of the timed cooking mode.
You then hit the time button again to confirm the time cooking mode and then select stop time. You can now change the stop time by selecting the plus and minus button, confirm the hours by hitting the time button and then hitting the plus and minus button again. The clock automatically calculates the time of the day at which the mold will start and stop. If you wish to use the self-cleaning option of the oven, please make sure to remove all utensils and bakeware. In addition, also please make sure that all oven racks are removed. Be sure that the oven interior lights are turned off and that light bulbs and lens covers are in place. During the self-clean program of the oven, the oven light does not operate. The door latch is automatically activated and the display will display auto lock. Please make sure that your kitchen is well ventilated during the self-cleaning option to help eliminate odors associated with self-cleaning. The moat will automatically stop at the end of the cleaning hours. When the oven heat drops to a safe temperature, the automatic door lock will release and the door can be opened. Turn the left hand and the right hand knob to C for cleaning. The display now shows CLM for cleaning. In addition, the cleaning time is displayed in the main display. To stop the cleaning mode at any moment, move one of the two knobs from the cleaning position to the off position. To change the cleaning time, hit the plus button or minus button and confirm with the time button. You can also delay start the cleaning cycle by hitting the time button until it displays stop time and then change the stop time by hitting the plus minus button. Confirm the hours by hitting the time button and then change the minutes by hitting the minus and plus button. Then wait 5 seconds in order to confirm everything.